So this is a brief presentation of uh, my GoUp AI agent um, in, used in conjunction with the ASTAR pathfinding um, the system that I built using a tutorial found on the internet that is actually referenced in the um, report. So I'll just start it and well, I'll just start it and show off uh, what I can do. So at the moment, the agent is uh, faffing about, that's actually a state. Uh, after it's done that, if he's too hungry or too sleepy, he's gonna go either to the sleeping booth on, in yellow on the left or on the vending machine on the right. Uh, so here the pathfinding is shown off. A grid is generated at runtime and is gonna check for um, a collision layer, well, a layer mask which is uh, the unwalkable layer mask which is at the moment applied only on the vending machine so you can see the squares well the cubes on the vending machine are actually red because the agents cannot go there so this agent is going back and forth between sleeping and eating because at the moment it can only do that only those two actions were implemented with the faffing about action as well but since there are no animations yet to indicate what the agent is doing, you cannot actually see the transition between sleeping, faffing about, and eating, and faffing about, and so on. Uh, I am now using the Unity Nav Mesh uh, that I was using in a previous version of this um, this product because I will need to add uh, dynamically more rooms that can connect with each other, and the Unity Nav Mesh does not bake. Um, at runtime, you cannot bake the Unity Nav Mesh at runtime. I have tried baking it into a prefab, but it turns out that it, the Unity Nav Mesh is not baked into an object; it's baked into the scene. So whenever I was moving the prefab or, or instantiating it, there was no way to retrieve the Nav Mesh from it because um, it was actually in the scene. Therefore, my agent would just walk around freely in the blank space. And um, what else? So at the moment, uh, the grid does not have occluders uh, for the walls. They will be put in so that the uh, A star agent will not be able to go uh, well around the walls as it's doing right now or through the walls. So this is pretty much everything for uh, this small presentation. I will keep on uh, working on it and hopefully there's gonna be uh, new actions added in and then there's going to be new precondition precondition that will require more objects i was thinking for example that in order to have food somebody will actually have to make food and fill up the vending machines so that the agent cannot just go there and get food it will have to uh, produce food first and then put in the vending machine and also i will work again on making the pathfinding take into consideration empty spaces and you know not just go around randomly in the scene so it's everything for now thank you very much for watching